In perfusion, potentially all mistakes can be lethal. And uh, therefore we have to make sure that uh, professionals are working in the best way in order to provide maximum safety for the patient. And incident management is a very important tool to provide a good patient outcome. Simulation training is very essential in medical education. This has been done already in the surgery, anesthesia, but not very often in perfusion. And uh, simulation training for perfusionists will potentially improve the situation for the patient and reduce the risk for the patient. I'm convinced that uh, GDP and also uh, monitoring technologies of heart lung machines will improve patient outcome because many parameters are there to show us what we are doing with the heart lung machine. <music> Critical uh, situations through perfusion are best avoided if two things are met. First is the education and training of the perfusionist. Second, the heart lung machine and the technology that is used during a bypass period. To train incidents and complications during bypass, one needs a strong partner, and it can only be a manufacturer of a hard lung machine or of medical supplier together with a training institution. And one example is the Livanova simulation training we have here in Berlin, so that perfusionists are being trained uh, in complications and how to manage these complications. <laughs>